<laughs> yeah, so if we can just yeah take it in to make it a bit less boxy. Yeah. Yeah, and I think this if it comes in a yeah a bit yeah. yeah. Hi guys! Welcome to the last in this three-part series of me getting some clothes made here in Uganda. If you don't know who I am, my name is Natalie Brown and I am a Canadian who is now living in Uganda in East Africa and I love my life here. It's pretty awesome. I'm having some amazing experiences. I'm learning so much living here in East Africa and I'm basically just here to share um, my experiences with you and to hopefully show you a different side of Africa, a different side of East Africa, a different side of Uganda, one that you've probably never seen before and I do this all through my video blogs. So in this episode it's the the day we finally get to see the clothes um, the guys the girls at Yimba Uganda made the clothes and I go for my fitting today I went for my fitting to just to see like what needed to be let out or tucked in or changed or whatever and um, we can see what the final outfits look like Anne Marie was amazing and helped me out she took some footage with her GoPro so I'm gonna mix in some of that GoPro footage because she took some footage of the girls actually making the clothes which was super cool let me just grab my notes here so I don't forget oh yeah so You'll see soulmate in this video. So people think it's really funny because he is like my, hang on, my earring back is falling out here. <laughs> he is like my mirror. <laughs> I always ask him how things look because he has an amazing eye. Uh, some of you know, some of you don't know, um, soulmate has been uh, my, my life partner and also my producer and manager for many years. So he's been with me for a long time and he's seen me in a lot of different outfits and I usually ask him for his opinion because he's really good with that kind of stuff. He really, he gives me an honest opinion about, you know, how something looks on my body. So you'll see him, I'll be asking him for his opinion, you know, and I think some people think, oh, why are you asking, you know, you're asking for his permission and it's not that. It's just that I love his opinion on my clothes. Um, he always helps me step out of the house looking great. So I really appreciate it. It's kind of nice to have a husband, hey, who can do that for you. I really, really appreciate that about him. So yeah, so I'll, uh, you'll see me kind of interacting with him, asking how this stuff was. Um, and also guys, we got to go into the studio. Um, so I mentioned in my last video that um, Anne-Marie and Emma, um, Emma is also a Koopy Bly, AKA Koopy Bly, a very well-known gospel artist here in Uganda so they were actually working on some music and uh, Jem uh, soulmate is helping them with some mastering and we're also helping with some music distribution for Ugandan artists now with our label identity music group here in Uganda which is really cool um, we're helping them get out onto that the digital world stage which is amazing to be able to help in that way but Kubi brought us in the studio at Backyard Studios. We got to hang out with Smart Keys and Fortune Spice. They were working on a new song called God of Africa. And it's really cool because they're trying to incorporate sort of some EDM dance hall with some kind of local sounds, which is amazing. And these guys work with people all over, you know, Africa. They work with South Africans, East Africans, West Africans, uh, doing music. And it's really cool. It's been neat getting to know them. We've now it's been a few months that we've been sort of hanging out with them, getting to know a bit more about the local scene and stuff that's going on. There is a very thriving gospel scene here. You know, we're not gospel artists and I don't do Christian music, but my background was that I did do uh, CCM and gospel before I became a secular artist. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to see how they're mixing the different kinds of music together. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We get to see what they look like. And then also, um, in a future vlog, I'm going to show you the photo shoot that we did I did with my friend Laura in these outfits that was the point of getting them done was to take some pictures in them and also just to have them because they're super cool um, the cloth is so vibrant and you, as you can tell I love bright beautiful things so, so I love the cloth here it's so beautiful um, but yeah so we're just uh, we're gonna finish up these dresses and if you are in Uganda and you do come here I highly recommend you get in touch with Yimbi Uganda to get some clothes made it's not only just about getting the clothes made, it's just that while you're doing that, you're also helping these girls uh, learn a skill, you know, they, and they get paid to make these outfits, um, and they learn how to run a business, and then the cool thing is that that extra cloth goes into making the menstrual hygiene packs that Anne-Marie talked about in the previous video. If you're not familiar with the video that I did before this, I'll link it down below so you can check it out, but super awesome, um, you know, uh, the reusable menstrual hygiene packs are such an amazing idea for a place like this. In fact, for everybody, 
because they're eco-friendly and they're sustainable. So it's pretty awesome. I hope you enjoy this last part of this three-part series. I'll see you at the end of the video. Hey Nats, so we're here again. We're back at Yimba, Uganda with my amazing lady, Sally and Teo. Yeah, it's and the same Teo. team. <laughs> same team, and we're here to uh, fit the dresses and see uh -huh. what needs to be adjusted. So exciting. All right. All right. So how long did you take yeah. to make them? How long did it take you to make them? A couple of days? One day. Two, one or two days, Quick. I think. I think Quick. you did like yeah. half, and then they came back. Cool, awesome. Very yeah, quick. Better than me when I ended up with sewing <laughs> all over. I don't know what would have happened. Okay, yeah, so where shall I go to? Uh... So, um, you can come on in. Okay. And then we'll come and be fitting his okay, cool. in the mirror. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. I think so. You want me to come in? I'll, I'll just come out there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So did you do most of the work here? Yeah, no, 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 we did it here. No, 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 I, I wanted it A-line. Like, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, yeah it's up to these. you. Yeah. So how about this was gone? Oh. We weren't sure about the sleeves. Like, whether you wanted to make them shorter or longer. Or yeah, longer. this one, I think I wanted to keep them long, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's the other one, I think maybe if, if yeah. anything, I might go. Now, that one's fine the way it is. Yeah, this one's you. good. This one looks good. Yeah. It's enough cleavage, but not like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> not a show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, I think this one's great. Yeah. 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 And um, I have, I'll, I'll wear it with that. Uh, yeah. And it's nice because it comes in here. Yeah, exactly. So it gives me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Then when you get your braids back. Yeah, exactly. So it'll be, it'll be nice. I just gotta figure out what accessories. Yeah. But even this one works. Yeah, yeah. So for me, yeah. I don't know, I like that. Yeah, because it dips in. Yeah, just So do you want anything? Um, I think it's good. I mean, yeah. it feels comfortable. The the sleeves are good. There's like enough room. Yeah. Um. Because this looks a little bit big here, but then it's the... Yeah, it's the bending. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that would be the only thing that maybe... Honey, what do you think? Yeah, as long as you're comfortable and you're going to actually... Yeah, because I want to be able to yeah, move in it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is this for a video shoot? This is for... Photo shoot. This is photo yeah. shoot. Yeah, yeah, so... Well, photo shoot, you can always cheat. You can yeah, always, and I can You can always pin it. stuff like back. I pin it. It's fine, yeah. yeah. But it just for, for everything moving around... But I'm saying for practical, yeah, you want it to... Yeah, I can... 
you know, it's the fun. Yeah. He picked it out, actually. He saw it. <laughs> yeah. I always take him. He's, he's the clothing master. Yeah. He always helps me with outfits and stuff. Yeah, no, I think it's great. I mean, I think... So how how would you fix how would you fix that so that I can still bend in it? It'll just be the end up here is perfect. Just really small. No, just. Yes, oh yeah, that was a pretty looking one. It's cool. Yeah, it's just a little tight, so I think we'll take it out a little bit. And then okay, this is where I need. So do you think we should keep the sleeve long, or do you think we should shorten? Because the thing is, I, I think shortening to here won't be good. It would have to come, it would have to like literally come in like a, a sleeveless. Or yeah, because yeah. remember with you, yeah, it's either way it so, is. So, so what do you think? Or sleeve. I need your expert opinion. I love this high load. This one yeah, this one's super cute. Yeah, it. it'll be super cute. And then I can also wear it with leggings, I can wear it with heels, mm -hmm. I can wear it with flats, yeah. you know, it'll be, it's really cute. I mean, it's, it's fine like that, but like I said, it's either that or okay. sleeveless. So maybe another Let's time. Have a look in the mirror. Okay, maybe another time I do a sleeveless one. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it just needs you. to come out just a little, so it's a little bit more brief. But yeah, actually, the sleeves on this one are perfect. So maybe we just leave. Let's leave the sleeves. Okay. Yeah, but generally with you, like yeah. you said, it's it's either that. Yeah, length the length is perfect. Or, yeah, I think or, um, it just needs to come out slightly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Definitely the waist and yeah, and the chest as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. But otherwise, yeah. Oh, I really like this one. Was a good one. Yeah. I think this is my favorite actually. Yeah, yeah, so far. Yeah, I really love it. It's super cute. Okay. Half inch? Yeah. Half inch or an inch? I would say it's yeah, it's an inch total. So yeah, I think the sleeves. You're already are making the adjustments. Yeah. So we're talking about right, feet. Yeah, so this one's just a little much yeah, fabric. Bit, so you yeah, it's a bit much. Probably going so to... So like um, you could do something, yeah, some smaller pleats, and then it sits a bit flatter. Yeah. So I don't know, would you need to remove some of the material also, do you think? So what we would do is we'd take the skirt off the band, Yeah. yeah. then we would re-put it on mm -hmm. with different pleats. And then with bigger ones, with bigger yeah, pleats. Yeah. Okay. And then we'd remove whatever fabric Excess fabric. Over. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Just to make the profile just a bit slimmer on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I think that would be good. Yeah. No worries. Cool, okay. Hello. So then, yeah, Andrew's the rooster, mm -hmm. and then Margaret's the other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So they they won't be dinner anytime soon. No, I, I feel it. like if something has a name, then right, then you it's, can't it's eat not, it. it. It doesn't go on your plate. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I think I wonder if there's a yeah, way. This one's tricky because yeah, to since it lays to take in for sure that we can take in. Yeah, to take it in. Yeah. Yeah, to take it. Maybe. So it tapers way. So maybe you taper. yeah, maybe straight. Although I don't know, you you guys know what this is supposed to. Yeah, just so it's a bit closer to the body. Yeah, so if we can just yeah take it in to make it a bit less boxy. Yeah. Then yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and I think this it comes in a. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. yeah. This is cool as well. It's stunning. Yeah, she showed me this girl she shot down there, and it's like the leg greenery and all that. So mm -hmm. it's like what the dude I did with her was like. Oh, you're finished. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take it. See if we need to do Thanks, any yeah. more. Okay, perfect. I'll just wait. Hey, so now you're in backyard studios with Emma. Yeah, backyard studios. Welcome. Kupi Blai. Is that how you say it? Kupi Blai. Okay. Kupi Blai is in the house. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
then the djembes. Yeah. So it's it's, it's yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's sounding very very. Cool. So the djembe. Uh, sorry, I'm. So this was the one you got the other day, remember? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's the one I, I I played at that at that concert. I, by him, but yeah, I yeah. saw I saw a picture of it. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. Ah, for this okay. part is another gospel artist. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. All right. So you guys are having a, a preview of the oh, first. Oh okay. Top secret. Preview of the first. Nice. <laughs> first demo. Okay. So you hear so it's, it, it, has, it has a bit of the EDM style as well, yeah. electro dance music. So this place was packed last wow, night. Yeah. Uh, How do you deal with surge protection here? Do you have like a really good surge protection? Uh, no, I'm not that much. But the... The has one Yeah, but it's, but it's, it's, not, it's not like a, a very big... Yeah. But it is working, so probably I haven't got any issues. Yeah, we'll be so, back. Yeah, cool. Yeah. We need to make something for you as well. Yeah, for Jeremy, you need a bow tie. Come on, honey. Matching bow tie. I'm a trader. I don't oh, worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do your full suit. Right. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thanks, you guys. We really appreciate all of your hard work. Okay, guys. Right. So signing off for this vlog. Thanks, we'll Anne-Marie. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Very welcome. Yeah. Always welcome to come back. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys in the next vlog, and hope you enjoy. All right. Good going. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I had so much fun getting to know these people. They're so amazing. And I had so much fun getting dresses made. And I got like this little vest and it was really cute. So I'm definitely gonna get some more stuff made um, in the future. I love the cloth here, I love the clothes. It's so cool to take like um, a traditional cloth and make it into something with a modern design. And I find that a lot of, I've kind of been getting to know a lot of designers here in Uganda who do this and it's so cool to see what they can make and what blows my mind really is this fact that they can literally look at a picture on Instagram or something of like one or two or three pieces and you say okay I want this sleeve and this body and this skirt and then they can just make it for you which is amazing it's so cool with like no pattern they make their own patterns do their own thing so I love it I think it's amazing I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting more um, more Chitenj Kitenge cloth items made and if you are here please do check them out um, and as I mentioned I think either this video or the last one hopefully we'll be able to get some kind of cool stuff like the earrings or whatever on to an Etsy shop for Yimba and you guys can maybe buy them from wherever you are in the world which would be super cool you can have a little piece of, uh, of Uganda with you <laughs> anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified of new videos or you can uh, also go to natalie-brown.com 
That's my official website because I am also an artist, uh, a singer, if you didn't know already. <laughs> I also make music and I do these vlogs and I would love to share my music with you. It's a part of the way I have expressed myself uh, with the entire world um, since I can remember, <laughs> really. And so I would love for you to have my music. When you sign up for the newsletter, you get a free MP3, but also you can go to Bandcamp and download or uh, grab for free whatever you want. You can also pay a little bit if you want to. You don't have to. It's free or pay what you want. I'll put the links below. Enjoy the music. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what your favorite part of this episode was, or if you've been watching the vlogs for a while and you've seen something you like, let me know what you liked. If there's anything you want to see in the future, Holla at your girl, let me know. I will see you guys next time. Be good to each other, be good to yourself. Treat yourself with love. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Love you so much, bye. That's all for today.